Hello, my name is Douglas Carvalho, and I am one of the authors together with Alex of the work Numerical Simulation of a Connected Pipe Test Ramjet Motor. As an introduction, it is good to know that the performance analysis of a beating engine is more complex than conventional rockets because it strongly changes with imposed flight conditions, such as Mach number, altitude, and angle of attack. In the engine development, before the complete purpose system testing, the combustors of the ramjet are examined alone on the connected pipe test bench. This work methodology utilizes the concept of overall energy balance to simulate the flow properties inside the engine. It includes combustion energy liberation, its transformation to a thrust force, and consumption by external sources according to the force balance described in reference number 7. In a such way, the flow simulation adapts to the, to the flight regime simulated in the experiments. The main ob objective of the work is to provide a numerical study of the chemically reacting compressible viscous flow inside the Ramjet engine assembled at the Chemical Propulsion Laboratory of the University of Brasilia. The following research is necessary to reach the objective. Such an appropriate numerical method analyze the geometry build and validate the structural mesh and organize the simulations. The engine was tested for three different flight conditions and parameters that define the, these flight conditions can, seen, can be seen on the table. On the image, it is seen the isometric 3D view of the engine. The engine is assembled in a connected pipe test bench which has the main focus of the analysis of the combustion chamber and it, and it is composed by three parts the heater, the combustion chamber and the nozzle. The main function of the heater is to increase the flow temperature by the combustion of process of a relatively small amount of fuel and it works similarly as a combustion chamber. In the image there is a graphic that shows the needed temperature after the heater for a given Mach number and absolute pressure. The main function of the combustion chamber is to add energy to the flow by the combustion process and it has three principal apparatus to do that. The injector which has the function to inject the fuel in an efficient way that favors the mixture of the flow with the flow. The igniter which, which has the objective to start the combustion process and the flame holders. The flame holders are used to create recirculation profiles to, of the flow that allows the combustion to be self-sustained, avoid contact between hot gases and engine walls which could cause structural damages, and promote intense combustion region on the center of the engine. The main functionality of the nozzle is to accelerate the flow particle by the organization of its momentum and as the engine flies in supersonic conditions, the conversion divergent profile is needed. Now talking about the simulations, the ANSYS Fluent software was used to solve the bidimensional axisymmetric transit time, time average Navier-Stokes equations that describes the flow, the capsule unrealizable was utilized for turbulence model in wall interactions and the non premixed combustion was used for chemical transformations. As we know, the CFD modeling is composed by the steps pre-processing, where the domain is elaborated, the discretization mesh is created and the resolution methods are chosen. The solution where the computer solves the set of equations and the post-processing where the results are analyzed. Here we can see the computational domain of the work and its boundary conditions. We have one error inlet and two fuel inlets at the tip of the injectors, one symmetry axis and one outlet. The remaining borders are configured as walls. The mesh sensitivity analysis was carried out by the comparison of four meshes with different refinements. The number of elements of each refinement can be seen on the table. And the main comparatives to choose the optimal mesh for the case were the heat flux along 
the engine walls and the temperature after the heater in the radial direction. In the main comparative results, we see that the lines of mesh number 3 and mesh number 4 are almost overlapped. Thus, mesh number 3 is, can be considered as the optimal mesh for the case. Here we have the tails of mesh number 3. The mesh quality using the orthogonal quality tool showed the excellent value for the average elements and the worst element presented a good quality element. On that setup were chosen the boundary condition definitions, the capsule realizable model for turbulence and one directions, the discrete ordinate for radiation treatment, the non premixed combustion for chemical transformations, the GRIMAC 3.0 to describe the combustion kinetics, and this tool was configured as the material of the walls. On methods, it was chosen the coupled with pseudo transit option and the spatial, spatial discretization equations can be seen on the slide. On this table, we can see the mean temperature for the analytical calculations and numerical simulations. And when comparing these two results, we can see that the deviation does not exceed 5%. Thus, the results are within the tolerance limit. On this slide, we can see the temperature and density contours. Notably, it is seen a temperature drop uh, on the transition zone between the heater and the combustion chamber. This is a consequence of the existence of two different zones with significantly different temperatures and densities. The first zone has a cold dense flow on the peripheral region of the engine, and the second zone has a hot low density flow on the axial direction with intense combustion. And when these two zones mix to each other, the overall temperature decreases. This slide shows the Mach number, vorticity and path lines. On path lines, in black, we have the recirculation zones near the flame holders, one in the combustion chamber entrance, and small recirculation zones are near the injectors. Low values of Mach number and high values of vorticity on the same regions confirm the recirculation zones. Now, moving on to the, to the conclusions, the bibliographic review made it possible to define methods needed to make the numerical simulations properly. The bidimensional computational domain represents axis metric flow in the engine. The structured mesh consists of quadrilateral elements refined according to the flow gradients in the boundary layer and intense combustion regions. The mesh sensitivity analysis confirmed mesh independence of the results ensuring the optimal accuracy and time for simulations. The chosen mesh presented close to optimal values for mean element quality as well for the worst elements. Results of temperature values after the heater and after the combustion chamber of simulations presented a maximum deviation of approximately 4.7% when compared to, compared to analytical results. Thus, the simulation results does not exceed the 5% tolerance limit. The presence of flow separation regions and generation of recirculation zones by the presence of the flame holders was confirmed. Consequently, the simulation shows the efficient wall cooling by a cold gas layer near the wall. The combustion takes place in the central region of the engine and is self-sustained. The authors would like to acknowledge the University of Brasilia, FAPDF, CNPq, and Chemical Proportion Laboratory of the UNB for financial and technical support of the research project. These were the main references used on this presentation. Here we have the author's contact and thank you.